I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about phenylparacetam as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Now, phenylparacetam is a water-soluble nootropic in the racetam class of compounds. Phenylparacetam was created by adding a phenyl group to pyracetam by Russian scientists in 1983. It was developed as a nootropic to boost cognition and to improve physical stamina. Now it turns out that phenylparacetam is very effective in boosting athletic performance. It provides significant stimulatory effects and helps you resist cold, leading to a ban by the World Anti-Doping Agency from use by athletes in the Olympics and other professional sports. Russian cyclist Anton Roshetnikov was suspended in 2007 for two years from the International Cycling Union for using Carfidon. One year earlier, Russian Olympic athlete Olga Payaleva lost her silver medal for using Carfidon. Carfidon is a brand name for phenylparacetam. Adding a phenyl group to pyracetam boosts the bioavailability of this nootropic. It easily crosses the blood-brain barrier and is considered 20 to 60 times more potent than paracetam. Neurohackers report that phenylparacetam enhances alertness, focus, memory, and learning. It reduces brain fog. And it provides physical stamina and cold tolerance while combating physical and mental fatigue. Now, Russian uh, chemists synthesized phenylparacetam in 1983 to boost physical and mental performance of astronauts during space flights. It's currently used by Russian cosmonauts on the International Space Station. Phenylparacetam combats physical and mental fatigue. It enhances memory and mood and focus. It facilitates learning and retention, it reduces brain fog, it increases alertness and boosts physical stamina and tolerance to cold. Phenylparacetam is also an effective treatment for epilepsy. This debilitating condition is caused by sudden surges of elect electrical activity in the brain. This, is, this temporary disturbance in messaging systems between uh, brain cells can cause a seizure. Normal brain function gets halted or mixed up. This is where phenylparacetam comes in. Phenylparacetam has been shown in clinical studies to affect alpha and beta brain waves. Scientists haven't quite figured out how, why it works, but phenylparacetam has an anticonvulsive action in the brain. And they conclude, concluded after one clinical trial that phenotropal reduced the frequency of seizures and improved cognitive function in the absence of epilepsy by using an EEG to study abnormalities in the brain. Now, phenylparacetam is sold as a prescription drug in Russia and several Eastern European countries, but in the United States, it's sold as an unregulated, over-the-counter research compound. Well, first, phenylparacetam is a stimulant. Phenylparacetam increases the density of neuroreceptors. Studies have shown increases in the density of acetylcholine, dopamine, GABA, and NMDA receptors. This translates into more receptors for each of these important neurotransmitters to bind with and boost their effectiveness. The increase in density of neuroreceptors likely accounts for phenylparacetam stimulant-like properties. Similar to Ritalin or Adderall, this nootropic increases the effectiveness of dopamine in your brain, increasing alertness, decision-making capability, and cognition. But unlike stimulants like Ritalin and Adderall, phenylparacetam does not come with any stimulant-like side effects. You should not experience any fatigue, rapid heartbeat, decrease in appetite, or irritability. Rather, you'll feel an increased stamina, and you'll have more physical endurance, and you'll get smarter. But just don't try using phenylparacetam if you're planning on competing in the Olympics. It was banned several years ago because it's too effective to be used in professional sports. Now, we don't want an unfair advantage, do we? 
And second, phenylparacetam decreases anxiety and depression. For similar reasons to how phenylparacetam works as a stimulant, it also tames symptoms of anxiety and depression. It increases the density of receptors for acetylcholine, GABA, and NMDA receptors. This increase in receptor sites for GABA, choline, and glutamate affects levels of the calming neurotransmitters GABA and serotonin in your brain. Phenylparacetam floods your brain with the neurochemicals you need to chill out. Phenylparacetam is highly bioavailable when it's used as a nootropic. Once digested, it quickly gets absorbed and crosses the blood-brain barrier. Phenylparacetam modulates neuroreceptors. It has been shown to increase the density of receptors for GABA, NMDA, dopamine, and acetylcholine. More neuroreceptors results in more of each neurotransmitter being able to bind to neurons, and it affects alertness, cognition, memory, recall, and mood. Phenylparacetam has a positive effect on physical performance by increasing endurance and reducing physical and mental fatigue. In fact, these effects are so potent that phenylparacetam has been banned by, from professional sports by the World Anti-Doping Agency. Phenylparacetam has been shown to act as a stimulant, but unlike pharmaceutical drugs, it doesn't affect your cardiovascular or respiratory system and does not have the side effects of jitteriness, restlessness, or irritability like regular stimulants. Phenylparacetam is also noted for increasing your threshold to tolerance for cold. Many neurohackers say phenylparacetam is the strongest nootropic they've ever experienced. It's highly bioavailable and you experience the effects within 30 minutes of taking it. Phenylparacetam increases concentration, motivation, memory, physical endurance, and tolerance to cold. Learning is quicker and stress is reduced. Learning and processing information becomes easier with phenylparacetam. You're not rereading sentences and paragraphs trying to understand them. Short and long-term memory improves. Motor skills improve, so you're typing faster and more accurately. Those dealing with depression report a decrease in depressive symptoms. More confidence helps in social situations and conversations are easier. Productivity rises and you assume a get-it-done mentality. Procrastination is a thing of the past. Phenylparacetam is a popular pre-workout supplement. It increases your endurance and reduces uh, both physical and mental fatigue. And if you're one of the unfortunate ones who live in a cold climate, you'll find that your tolerance for cold is better. Phenylparacetam was developed in Russia in 1983, and the majority of research done with this nootropic has been conducted in Russia, published in Russian medical journals in Russian. So we have limited clinical trial data to draw on, and like many nootropics, we rely on nootropic user reviews. The following is two samples of clinical trials that I was able to find that's been translated into English, and they were published in Western medical databases. The first one is that phenylparacetam improves cognition. A study done by Russian researchers investigated the effects of phenylparacetam on cognition. 99 adults aged 40 to 60 suffering from cognition deficits due to surgery or brain trauma were enrolled in the study. Volunteers were given 200 milligrams of phenylparacetam daily for 30 days. The researchers found that those using the nootropic showed significant improvement in motor coordination, higher brain function, memory, attention, and counting, and a reduction in both anxiety and depression. We have another study about how it, phenylparacetam boosts cerebral circulation. Researchers in Moscow recruited 400 patients suffering from ischemic stroke. This is the most common type of stroke where blood vessels carrying blood to the brain are blocked by a blood clot. Half of the group received 400 milligrams of phenylparacetam daily for a year. The control group received a placebo. The researchers found that the group who received phenylparacetam experienced a significant restoration in cognitive function and resumed daily activities, far better than the control group who took the placebo. 
Recommended phenylparacetam dosage is 100 milligrams twice a day. One phenylparacetam dose in the morning and one in the early afternoon. Do not use it later in the day because it's a stimulant effect and cause insomnia. You can develop tolerance to phenylparacetam, so consider taking it only on days when you need the extra focus. Or try cycling it one week on and one week off. Phenylparacetam is non-toxic, so it's considered well tolerated and safe. As with many of the racetams, phenylparacetam can cause headaches because it boosts the use of acetylcholine in your brain. Choline supplements like alpha-GPC or CDP-choline can help you avoid this side effect. Now, tolerance is a problem with phenylparacetam and builds rather quickly. Used too often, it'll soon lose its effects. So try using it only when you need the extra cognitive power or before a workout. Or try cycling it one week on and one week off to avoid tolerance. Now, many neurohackers find that stacking phenylparacetam with a choline supplement boosts the effect even more with improved memory and cognition. And this is supported by several research studies. Phenylparacetam is sold in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Tablets and capsules are usually 100 milligrams each. Now, my nootropics expert recommendation is phenylparacetam 100 milligrams two times a day. And that's my report on phenylparacetam. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for phenylparacetam. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using phenylparacetam, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. Now if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.